background, good. But importantly, I want to make sure that the power and the ground are not shorted to one another. And they're not, that's good too. So the ground is... So the students that are part of the Summer Science Academy do a number of different things over the three to four weeks that they're here. And it's high school students who come and actually want to do experimental physics. What I've been showing them is that radio astronomy is something that's kind of accessible. Uh, over the course of only four days, they'll build some portions of a radio telescope um, and actually operate it, see how it works. And usually I'll have them make measurements of uh, the sun that you can see in radio waves. All right, so we're getting a nice ramp. Yeah. That is working properly. Okay, so what are we seeing? Oh, right, okay. That's, I think that's doing what it's supposed to do. An important thing to realize about radio telescopes is that bigger is definitely better. And we're very fortunate that someone built a large dish up on the top of the Enterprise Center uh, when it was part of WHYY. A big dish like that is difficult to come by, especially in the city. And um, we can now use it to do astronomy that we couldn't do even with uh, these, these small dishes that are easily available. So we're up on the roof of the Enterprise Center here, and uh, the radio dish that you see here is one that has been up here since the like, early 80s. So we're trying to turn it into a teaching tool and a, a real working radio telescope that hopefully we'll be able to see things that are not uh, human-made satellites or other forms of radio interference, but actually can see something out beyond the Earth's atmosphere. So we are really looking at light. It's not the kind of light that you see with your eyes, but it is light from the universe. And with radio waves, we see different things than you would see if you looked in visible light. And so you look at the night sky on a dark night and you see stars and you see the Milky Way. But if you look in radio waves, you see things that are really quite extraordinary. You see black holes that are accreting and blasting out uh, electrons at nearly the speed of light. It's an attempt to see the universe in a different way, to look at different things that we can see uh, in visible light. The brightest things in the radio sky are actually what we call quasars. They're supermassive black holes that live at the centers of galaxies. And of course, once the matter goes in, it's gone, and the hole is black. But before it goes in, it gets up to extremely high speeds and very high energies. And so we see electrons streaming out at nearly the speed of light from these objects, and they emit tremendous amounts of radio waves. So the thing that we're most excited about being able to show students with this dish is when it's working, we should be able to see some of the brightest uh, instances of these uh, radio galaxies shining in the night sky. And we could try pointing in a slightly different directions. We probably see slightly different things. So this, this looks very encouraging, actually. Uh, so I'm glad we did the experiments. We're up here on the roof at 12 gigahertz, we've got a big telescope. We'll actually get a nice view of the universe. The pin is the only place that I know of where we're trying to take radio astronomy, not just as a thing we teach to undergrads and graduate students, but actually take it out to high school students and the general public. And so this is a, a unique endeavor to really have an outreach that is based around radio astronomy for uh, everyone.